No more traumatizing pain. Mel B uploads a lengthy post to Instagram and admits she cried as she wrote it. It's been a traumatic year for her family after her marriage to Stephen Belafonte came to an abrupt end and her beloved father passed away. And Mel B used Instagram to offload her feelings on Wednesday, posting a lengthy wall of text onto the photo sharing site alongside a faraway image of herself. The image showed the Spice Girls type 42 in a plaid red shirt tied at the waist, a white and gold belt, torn Daisy Duke shorts and white high heels. She wore her newly dyed silver mane blouse and appeared to be taking a phone call in the photo. The singer seemed pensive in the faraway shot, her hand against her cheek, then in her hair. She included in her Instagram caption that she had been crying as she wrote it, clearly letting it all pour out in the impassioned post. Mel wrote, unanswered text is everything fine you may know my name but not my story. You maybe have heard what I've done but not what I've been through but soon you will. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna text myself this as a reminder. I may not have come from the perfect home but I was loved by my family. I may not be in the most favorable situation in life currently but trust me I soon will be by speaking my truth cause I refuse to give up shut up or just settle. My heart and my intentions are pure and honest and that alone makes me stand and fight for what I believe in. I'm focused, I work hard, I support and raise my three beautiful daughters all alone and every day I show them how I'm handling business and taking back my life bit by bit, wearing the goddess crown my babies gave me proudly. I know the guards I've been dealt with will change for the better and change indeed very very soon. A lot of people will be eating their cruel dishonest disgusting words. Me well I'm humble cuz I know where I started. I'm full of life cuz I made it out alive. Plus I'm learning how to love myself more and more each day so thank you to the ones that have stuck by me and believed in me even if I wasn't able to talk to any of you for 10 years but guess what I'm back now stronger healthier and sillier than ever. No more hiding no more shame no more traumatizing pain. These last seven months have been incredible despite the death of my father, but he gave me just the strength I needed to stop living in utter fear. Thank you, Daddy. I love you and miss you every second of every day. I've stayed quite for way, way, way too long. Want to empower and support women and give strength and hopefully pave the way, even if it's just a, a hand full of people to let them know you can do it. All alone I walked away with nothing just my kids. No one knew but it was the most terrifying but amazing walk I took and uh, I never looked back B. Never will I regret it. I'm crying writing this I'm sorry but just know you're not alone there are more people than you could ever imagine in the same boat right now and yes they are alive to tell their story. Sharp stop domestic violence sharp stop rape drugging sharp get her at no please sharp nom shame sharp nom hiding sharp report he our abuser sick. Mel is currently caught up in a bitter divorce battle with her estranged husband and was was spotted leaving a deposition with her legal team in Los Angeles on Monday. She had her hair slicked back and rocked a pair of trendy sunglasses. Mel looked determined and poised as she strolled down the street, alongside her legal team, who chatted with her. It's been a trying few months for the America's Got Talent judge who has accused estranged husband Stephen of emotional and physical abuse amid their divorce battle. She has also claimed he had an affair with the German nanny Lorraine Gillis, both allegations that Stephen has staunchly denied. In May, Mel was granted a restraining order against Lorraine, who she alleged had been harassing her. She was also granted an order against Stephen in April, a month after she filed for divorce from the film producer following nearly 10 years of marriage. Mel alleged he had been physically abusive, blackmailed her, and got Lorraine pregnant during their relationship, 